Welcome all to Sword of the Spirit TV with Rev. Dr. Rebecca Michael, where we go through the entire Bible, hopefully within a year, following a chronological reading plan that we found at eWordToday.com. And that is real-time history rather than going through uh, just straight through the book, which uh, is disjointed and uh, can pick up and leave stories, and it's confusing that way. So this way, it's a lot clearer. And so today, on with our reading. Genesis chapter 9, The Covenant with Noah. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and pl replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that move upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be meat with for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast, will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. And you be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I made between you and me, and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I shall bring a cloud over the earth that the bow, rainbow, shall be seen in the cloud. And I'll remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Canaan is cursed, Shem blessed. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, and Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunk and he was uh, uncovered within his tent, naked. And Shem, or Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went forward and covered the na nakedness of their father. And their faces went backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew that his younger son, what he had done unto him. And he said to him, Cursed be Canaan, your son. A servant of servants shall be he unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, 
and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years, and all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. And that's our reading for today. Please do join us, though, at our Facebook group discussion forums at Sword of the Spirit TV Bible Studies. You can Google search Facebook for that if you have a free Facebook account at facebook.com. You can always uh, uh, look that up, and you can look up our fan page, Phoenix Alive Christian Ministries Incorporated, or Phoenix Alive Christian Ministries. And uh, yeah, join us there. We uh, post uh, videos all the time. Uh, both of both our own and, and other uh, ministers around the world as we promote ministers is one of the things we do at our ministry. And so you can watch, post, and distribute these videos or playlists anywhere at www.youtube.com forward slash Sword of the Spirit TV. And as you can see, looking at the uh, slide here, how it's spelled, you have to spell it that way, you won't get there both for the Facebook, uh, to look it up in Facebook, and uh, also at YouTube, our YouTube account. This is Reverend Dr. Rebecca Michael. I'm an ordained Christian ministry minister and president, founder with several of my family members and my husband at Phoenix Alive Christian Ministries, Incorporated in Canada. And uh, so this is a picture of me here, and I'm going to be redoing all of our Bible studies uh, that I've done up till now. I've done about eight of them uh, uh, in this format. So from now on, this is what you can expect. Our Bible, our, our website, our uh, Bible School and Apostolic Leadership Center website, the main one, is over at www.champsbibleschool.org. And you can also Google search me at Facebook under Rebecca Michael, as you can see on the screen there how it's spelled, uh, R-E-B-E-C-C-A-M-I-C-H-A-E-L. God bless you. Thanks for listening.